when you want to work on large language model and large data set to train your model. Working on your offline system is not an efficient way because it has to, to require a lot of dependency, a lot of libraries and that is why we are using Google Collab. So let's see how Google Collab works. So here you can see I'm on Google and I'm searching of Google Collab. Okay, that's what you need to do. You need to go to the first link and you need to register yourself on Google. That's what it required. And now I've already registered myself. So this is how Google looks. And now all I need to do is create a new notebook and it will create a new notebook for you. If you know how to work on Jupyter Notebook, this is exactly what Jupyter Notebook is. This is very similar to Jupyter Notebook. As you can see, it is open now. And here I can change the name of the repository. Here I need to run the cell first of all, and it will allot you some resources on the cloud. You don't need to run the algorithms, the models, work on the data set on your offline system. You can run it on the Google Collab server. Okay. Here you can see uh, it has provided you 12 gigs of RAM and 107 gigs of ROM, which is the storage. So you can work on it. And the best part is you can go to uh, the runtime, change runtime type. And here you are having an option to add the accelerator. Here you can add GPU and TPU as well. Okay, but they are providing you limited resources. You can also subscribe yourself to Google Collab Pro. That's also have uh, an option we have. And just to give you a glimpse of how the model works. So here you can see uh, this is a sample code to work on Club, which is a word to vec model in natural language processing. And the size of the word to vec model is around here. You can see around 822 MBs. It's a pretty huge file. So uh, if you don't want to download it on a system and load it on a RAM and work on it, you can easily do it on Club. Here you can see URL lib. I'm sending the request to this particular link through which I can download it. And all I'm doing is running the command and it will download the whole thing, not on your system, but on Google Cloud, Google Collab server, pretty easy, very fast. So this is uh, the main use of using Google Collab. This is how we can use Google Collab. If you want to upload any file, here we are having an option to upload the file, you can select it. So this is the uh, file. These are the different CSV files I'm having to upload the file. So here you can see if I'm choosing var.csv and click open, so it will upload the CSV file for you as well. So you can also use your offline files on Google Collab. So this is how you can use Google Collab in the easiest way possible. Thank you.